In the last story, we saw how foolish it is to build your lives on the sand. While Jamestown was falling apart, God was building a people of his own, who we call pilgrims today. Actually, back in 1606, they were known as separatists because they did not want to conform to the corrupt Church of England. So they separated from the Church of England and started building a new church, a church built on the rock, Jesus Christ, and His Word, the Holy Bible. You know something, Christian? Anytime you build something, it's going to be difficult, whether it's on sand or rock. The idea is, when you've finished what you've built, will it stay standing? These separatists, like the Jamestown colony, had a very difficult time. Many were put into jail because of jealousy, because of the corrupt Church of England. They had their properties taken. They were beat up. Dads were split up from their children and wives for months at a time. All this because they would not conform. Well, that's like being like everyone else around you. And in the pilgrim's case, it would mean putting up with a corrupt church and not doing anything about it. Well, the pilgrims decided to continue to build a new church in Holland. This was sad, though, because they did love England. But their love for God and His Word and their children was greater. In Holland, they could start their own church government, using the Bible as a guidebook for raising their children and living together in the new world. Pilgrims gave up their farms and somewhat comfortable living in England and chose to suffer hardships just because they didn't want to conform to the world around them. They wanted their children to come out from among the wicked and to seek and to serve the Lord in a holy way. I wonder, is your life like that of the pilgrims or has the world and its pleasure got a hold of you? Maybe your toys, movies, music and TV, the things that you love so much, do, do they mean more to you than God? Would you be willing to sell or give everything away except your Bible? Think about it, the pilgrims had to. God wants His children to be separate and not to conform our lives to the world, its pleasures and standards. Listen to Romans 12 too. it tells us, do not be conformed to the standards of this world. But let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind. Then you'll be able to know the will of God, what is His good and perfect pleasure. I'm glad this world's not my home. But let me say something. We live in America, and we need to value our country. The standards here need to be based on the Bible, just like the pilgrims intended years ago. It's time that you and I did everything possible first to live godly in our home, in our church, and in our work. And then secondly, influence the world around us to follow our example. Remember, Jesus called us on this earth to be the head, not the tail. We need to take dominion over this world for Jesus Christ. Let him rule and reign in you so that you will be powerful for him.